The vessels that we build here at Gunnarsson uh, range in size anywhere from 480 feet long. Uh, we have a capability of going up to 700, 750 feet. Most vessels are in the range of 450 to 250 feet in length with a beam of 50 feet to 105 feet in width. Uh, our percentage of welding with wire is better than 99 percent. Gunnarsson was looking for a way to make our welders more efficient. Currently our, like, uh, our welders have to leave the area, they have to get out of their gear, um, move from the air location they're working at inside the vessel to the outside of the vessel, adjust their machine, come back into the vessel. Um, usually they run into one of their co-workers and they'll talk for a minute. So it's f approximately five to ten minutes any time an employee goes to adjust uh, their machine uh, by the welders being able to stay in their work location and changing right there. We anticipate that they'll be able to weld uh, at least in a, an additional half hour uh, per, per shift each day. We were not extremely happy with the control cords. Uh, any, after moving the feeders uh, repeatedly, as the people progressed throughout the vessel, um, the cords would, in the interior, the cables, the wires would, would break and the, the feeders wouldn't work properly. We'd have to change out the feeders or change out the cords, uh, which was very time consuming. So we, we, we weren't extremely happy with, uh, with that. With the WCC feeders, our welders have the capability, they're looking right there, they see what their voltages are. With the RC feeders, uh, there is a drop, a voltage drop in the cable, and the employees have to guess what that drop is uh, from their power source to the actual weld location. Uh, at times it can be significant and uh, the employees inadvertently not knowing may be welding on the edge of their parameters or not welding at the best parameters uh, possible. An additional benefit that we anticipate from the WCC feeders is, is safety. Uh, the welders will be able to stay in their location. Uh, now as they go out of the vessel to change the settings on their machine, uh, they have to traverse uh, across frames, across stiffeners, um, through holes, through scaffolding, up ladders, um, and all these, even though the, the workers do that day in, day out, each time it, it presents a hazard, thus safety uh, should become much better. At Gunnarsson we have a, a, a dual culture of both quality and safety. These new feeders allow us uh, to expand on that. It's another investment uh, in both quality and safety for us.